a not so good morning. Uh, I woke up to barking dogs. Today was supposed to be a very busy day. It still will be, but in a different direction. Um, we were supposed to process the rest of the chickens next week, and we were going to process the grow out. We only have three of them right now. I guess that's a good thing. But we're not going to be processing anything anymore. There's one. Is it? So there's two? Yeah. He's got blood coming out of him. So no. That's going to be a no. I'm going to have to put him down. Yep. And then our three grow out rabbits. They were in a cage with a bottom. I have no idea. There's wire on the bottom. I don't even know how they got these rabbits out of here. There's a bottom. It's not a sad feeling uh, that I'm sad. I'm sad for the way they died. That's not a way for an animal to die. And it's also lost resources for what we're trying to do. That's food. That's not food anymore. So... I think the day is going to be spent putting something else together for our five grouts and we have two more litters on the way and yeah that's a tricky one to wake up to first thing in the morning a terrible way to start the day There's a lizard in the house. You see it? Yeah. Trust me, it's there. No, I see it. It's okay. <laughs> I like opened the door and it got him. Let me see. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't lose him. That's all, we... <laughs> That's all we need is a lizard crawling in bed in the middle of the night. Hold, on. Hold steady a minute. Yeah. He bites my finger now. It's a little no. Oh, it's hold still, Corbin. Trying to do a mating call. Oh, I think he's trying to tell you how big he is and vicious he is. All right, go put him outside. Yeah, oh. Pop him on him. I know. So, first thing I do is I put him out here. Hey, here you go outside. Hey guys, feeling a little better since this morning. I am headed out. When I got back from running errands and picking up the things Matt needed, um, the kids had pretty much completed the whole chore list hi baby girl that i'd given them so there wasn't a lot to do so i just helped matt a little bit um we moved the rabbit hutches to a fresh spot and i'm gonna see how he's doing on the new rabbit tractor that actually resembles the tank and rightfully so Dang, babe. It looks like a prison. A reverse prison? Was that a thing? Uh, Keeping things out? A rabbit happy home. It's a rabbit happy home. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, that looks... Really good <laughs> I bet it does. Oh my goodness, that is nice. I look sharp. I mean, and secure. Hey, sweet girl. She'll be out to feed soon. Okay. Well, that looks amazing. He still has to put the top on and the wire on the bottom, but that's way tougher than what we had before. So hopefully we won't have any more losses. But live and learn a hard lesson. I also have a surprise. So not for you. Well, for you guys too. But, um, Matt loves our meat turkeys. It was actually his idea to get them. Oh my gosh, the goats flipped there. 
hay feeder again. Anyway, you guys are bad. Yeah, you are. Um, we're going to butcher them and put them in the freezer next week. I was going to wait till spring to get hatching eggs because Dee Dee wants to do button quail. Matt wants turkey. So I thought it was a perfect time to hatch out both and they could get what they wanted. We do too many. So we'd hopefully end up with a tom and a hen and then we could just keep a pair and sell the rest. Um, but Matt told me today that he really doesn't want that. So I posted that on Facebook in a local group and a lady contacted me with a picture of a really pretty bronze tom. So Monday, Dee Dee and I are going out and we are going to pick up this turkey. But for now, I have to feed these boys because they think they're going to die. All right. Hootie, have you been waiting forever? Are you dying of starvation? What'd you do to your hut back there? You don't need to fight. There's plenty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh. You fighting? You want some? Here you go. You're such a good boy. Come on, let's go to your pan. You're stinky. Did you, did you just pee on your face? Ew, dude. That is not polite. And, yeah. There's two sides to this thing. And they still argue about who's going to stand on what side. And then they just end up tipping it over. Look how much hay goats waste. All right, hang on. I got to pick this up and then I go feed. There's more food over here. HB, you can't chase them away all the time, honey. Come here, hootie hoo. You boys are so bad. Come here, hootie. Good boy. You just want to be in arguments, huh? Excuse the chicken feathers and my muddy horse. Um, what do we call this? What? What kind of fashion wear is shorts, athletic wear shirt, and snow boots? Oh, um, it's called the ketchup and mustard style. <laughs> um, do you realize you'd be cooler if you didn't have those boots on and warmer if you had more clothes on? Oh, Kane, Kaney, hey buddy, what are we going to do with that girl? You don't care so long as dinner comes, huh? All right, now the girls aren't crying, but um, security going forward. We ordered some game cameras today. Uh, we're going to put them, I'm not as concerned about the horses immediately, but we're going to put the game cameras on the areas we keep the smaller livestock um, just to monitor what's going on. We have, here, let me show you what we have on the coop. We have these solar, right there, solar motion detected detector lights. They work fantastic. The, they're all, every side of this coop. So if anything walks around it, I want to say it's like 15, 20 feet. Um, it lights up. So we know it's there. We can actually see where all our animals are from our house. So what Matt wants to do is we're going to order more of those and put them on the housing so that if we hear a disturbance we can look outside wherever it's lit up that should mean that's where the activity is and we can head right there instead of just trying to guess what's going on unless we hear upset goats or guineas or whatever i'm so glad that we have our our goats out in electric netting i think i don't know if those dogs would have gotten in with them um we still haven't been able to figure out what it is we saw three hounds across the road in the big field um, just going through they didn't seem interested in our house so I don't know if that was just somebody hunting uh, our neighbor told us that he had a dog in his yard down the road it's a ways down the road so I don't know if that had anything to do with it but we are absolutely taking steps to shore everything up so nobody nobody no animals have to go through that again because that is the exact opposite of what we're trying to do here we want animals to be self safe and live happy lives um and have a peaceful end not what happened today so anyway you guys take care i don't know if this will be its own video or if i'll pick up you know the thing that d and i are doing on monday 
But um, yeah, I'll keep you posted, of course. And by the way, I just st started a Facebook page and so many people joined. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. I have <laughs> struggled to share things over the years and I really enjoy what we're doing here and I hope that it brings everybody else joy and I hope you share your adventures too. Take care. You know what it looks like? The silver bullet? The horse trailer? The new rabbit tractor. We can fit a lot of baby bunnies in there, huh? Alright, I'm gonna look this up. I need to pull this out. Alright. You want me to assist? Okay. Ready? Yep, I'll go this way. <laughs> 